Hi, so welcome back. Um, so just as a reminder, what we've done is to create a, a very basic HTML file with the necessary links to get um, our bootstrap and, uh, going, uh, and um, uh, as well as uh, not just going in terms of its look and feel, but also in terms of having some, um, some interactable content with it. Uh, but as I say, there's nothing in this uh, page at the moment. Just let me close those down a moment. So, uh, let's have a look at what we are going to build. And I've got a little mock-up here. So, we're going to build a, a little page about the solar system. And the content I'm going to use, I'm going to take from Wikipedia. Um, so... Uh, here's a, here's a mock-up. We're going to have a title at the top. We're going to have a, a, a box with some learning objectives. We're going to have some introductory text in here. We will um, have some, when over certain text items, when we mouse over them, we'll have some tool tips up here. We'll have a button that's going to launch a, a picture of a more, a, a more detailed image of the solar system. And we're going to have uh, then a grid layout. So we're going to actually separate the page out into a grid. So we're going to have some text on the left hand side. And we're going to have a tab on the right hand side with some information about the inner solar system for each of the planets. We're going to have an image below. And when we click on that image, we're going to have a um, Popover, which will give some more information about that image. And then in, in the next section, we're going to talk about the outer solar system. We're going to have some, some text and an image beneath that. And we're going to have an accordion, or a set of collapsible panels, which is going to be a different way of describing our outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, uh, Neptune. And then down at the bottom, we're going to have uh, learning objectives. Uh, just to close off the page. That's pretty much uh, a mock-up of, of what we, we want to build at the end. And if you're interested, I've used um, a program called Balsamic uh, Mockups to do this, which is a very good program for quickly mocking up um, interfaces, um, which you can use uh, when designing learning content and any sort of web-based content. Okay. Before we start then, just to, to recap, we've essentially got um, a number of rows. Um, there's basically one full width row here, which contains these three components. There's another full width row here, which essentially has a column of text and then a column containing a tab and an image. We then have another row which has a left-hand column and a right-hand column. The left-hand column has got some text and an image. The right-hand column has got our accordion. And then at the bottom, we have a, a, a final row, uh, which has our, is a full-width row and has our learning objectives. Now, I've shown um, here uh, the left-hand column in both of these rows as being the same width. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case. It could be um, different widths, and I'll show you how that works in a moment. Um, but essentially, when we're dealing with Bootstrap, we're dealing with a grid of essentially 12 columns. So um, what we'll do is we'll have, a, we'll have a test in a moment, but this might be a four column, um, a, 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 a column width of four, and this might be a column width of 8. And here I've got a column width of 4 and a column width of 8. But I could do this as a column width of 6 and 6 and 9 and 3 or however we want to lay things out. That's basically how the grid uh, system works. Now, um, the grid system can get very, is very powerful and you can have nested grids. So you can have columns within columns. Now, we're not going to look at that today or in this series of uh, videos because I want to just keep things simple at this point. Okay, so let's have a look at how that works in practice. So, this is the, the blank page that we have at the moment. And the first thing that we're going to do 
is create a, 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 a div. Now, a div is essentially just a container that's going to go onto the page. Um, it goes on the, onto a web page and it defines an area of content within the page. And we're going to have a, a div and we're going to give it a class of container. And we're going to close that div. Oops. And this is going to contain all of the content that we have on the page. And within this container, we're going to add our rows and columns. So we'll start out with the first row. And remember, there are four rows on the, on the page. And so we will do div. We're going to put in another container, uh, uh, sorry, another div. Um, into the into the container, so we'll call it class equals, and fairly obviously we'll call this a row. And we'll close that. Down. So that's going to be our first row, and it's going to be our second row, third row, fourth row. So we basically created four rows within our container. Now, we want to put some, some columns into that row. So remember our first um, row has just one full width column. So what we do is we create an, a, what's called a nested div um, within our row. And we give it a class equals call dash md dash 12 now the 12 is the width of the column now remember we're based we're basing this on a 12 um, 12 units wide so one whole uh, container is 12 columns wide so that's going to be a column of width 12. In our second row, we had um, a left-hand column and a right-hand column. So what we'll do is we'll create a div class equals col dash md dash four. Now that's going to be our left-hand column. I'll just close the div. Now we do. What does that mean? We need our right hand column, so we're going to do a div class equals call dash md dash eight. And there we've got a column or left hand column of width four and a right hand column of width eight. Now we can change those. Uh, later on, uh, depending on how the layout looks, we might change that to a, a 2 and a 10. Or if we wanted a third column in there, we could add a third column in there, as long as the total adds up to 12. I'll just put it back to 8 and 4 for the moment. And our third row uh, was exactly the same. Um, to start with, so we can just copy and paste um, into our third row, and then in our fourth row um, was um, uh, it, yes, it was the same again. It was a full width column, so we'll just copy that from the top there, put that down there. So we have just one column in the top row and one column in the bottom row. Each uh, one is twelve wide. Now. We haven't put any, I've saved that, but we haven't put any, any content in there. So even if we preview it now, we're not going to actually going to see anything. So what we want to do is to put some text in. And what I've done is I've taken some text from the Wikipedia Solar System page. So if you just have a look at... Um, Pull this up before, but um, here we go. Solar system. 
So the, the content that I'm going to use, I've taken from, not all of it, but I've taken a lot of it from, from this page here, just for this example. Um, and rather than typing everything in, what I'm going to do is to copy some content in that I already have. Start off by putting a title. So in our top row, I'm going to put a, a heading one, solar system. So it's the page title, it deserves a page one. And then beneath that, I'm going to put a number of paragraphs that I've copied um, from the Wikipedia page. just format this up so that it looks neat um, so now we've got some some content let's save this now um, in this um, I'm using a, a text editor here called um, Sublime. I should have mentioned this at the start. You can actually use any text editor. And one of the things I like about Sublime uh, or Notepad++, which is another one I like, is that you can um, right-click and open it in a browser. And Okay, starting here. So we've added some um, some content in, and what we'd like to do now is just have a quick preview of this. So we make sure that the file is saved, and we go to our folder in the Bootstrap example. I'm going to right click this, click this, and I'll open it with Chrome. And there we have a central container with a few pages of a few paragraphs rather of text uh, and the word solar system um, in a, a large heading at the top. Now that doesn't really show us how the layout works yet so let's let's have a look at the second row where we started to add some things in into each panel um, in, in, a, in a grid format. So let's flip back to, to our page. Now this is our second row and this is the left hand column here. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy um, from um, some, some text that I've already grabbed from that Wikipedia entry. And I'm going to put it into the right hand side, sorry, the left hand column. Let's paste that in here. So, what we've got here, I'm just missing a closing. P, so we've got a, a heading 2 in a solar system, a paragraph, but a heading 3 of inner planets, and we've got paragraph, paragraph. We just need to close that paragraph there. Let's save that and flick back into our page um, that, that we've been working on in the browser and reload. And here you can see. This is the text that we just added, but it appears in a four-wide uh, um, element on the left. And this, we've not added a, a, any content in here. Remember, this is where we're going to add a tab later on, and this is left free at the moment. But just to show you that if we were to change this to be, um, let's say the other way around, eight and four, so the left-hand column is now 8 and the right-hand column is now 4. Uh, we can save that. 
we go back and reload and you can see the difference we've now got this smaller space on the right bigger space on the left for the text and what I'll do is I'll flip back we'll go back to four and to eight okay now if we want to um, add some text to the right we can do but we're going to leave that for now because we're going to come back and add in some uh, interactive components into that space we're going to add the tab in later on what I will do is add some content now into the last row um, or sorry the third row so we bring that up and again we're going to just going to uh, put that content into the left hand column for now because we're going to add a collapsible panel group to the right so here we've added a section on the outer shoulder system and then in our final row the last row on the page we've, we're going to add in some text and uh, a summary and um, some little bits of information about where to go to next so we'll copy and paste that in. So we've got a, a heading to summary and readings. We've got a paragraph of text about the bootstrap framework, some of the advantages of it, and some links, some link, including a link to the page where we've sourced our material. So let's just save that finally and open that in the browser. And so there's our top row, full width, our left, our second row with a left, um, some content in the left, a space for our interactive content to go in the right. The same for our third row, and down at the bottom a full width um, row uh, with um, some summary information. So hopefully that little video has shown you how to how how easy it is to create um, a row based uh, a grid based I should say um, layout um, to uh, to allow you to position um, content around the page in different ways rather than just having slabs of linear text uh, uh, paragraph after paragraph um, this allows you to to add you know, even if it's as simple as images next to text uh, on the left or the right and so on. So in the next video, what we're going to do is to start to add um, some colour and vibrancy to the page because at the moment, although we've got a layout, it is very black and white and it's, it's a little bit dull. So we'll add some more, so we'll start to add some, some nicer elements into the page. Okay, thanks.